All right, how y'all doing? This is Ray with Ray's Rule Reviews. Today I'm doing a follow-up video on flying the quadcopter. Uh, last time we talked about flying it in stability mode because it's um, it helps you learn better. Today I want to talk about when you learn to fly your quad. After a while, just hovering around gets boring. You want to be able to put it where you want, when you want. You want to be able to fly around things, through things, over things, under things. Because something can happen, a kid can run in front of you and you may have to avoid it. So you need to be able to fly it in every orientation, especially when it's flying towards you. Nose in. Whoa. That's what happens when you're practicing flying toward things. Fortunately, the alias is tough. <laughs> all right yeah so another good thing to practice is hovering right in front of you like this once you can master hovering facing you when everything is reversed um it makes a big difference in how confident you are I love the alias. There's a lot of new, more expensive, more high-tech quads, but I think this one is perfect. I wouldn't I wouldn't trade it for anything because it's light, it's responsive. You can modify the controller or you can adjust the controller sensitivity. The rudder sensitivity. It I I think it don't get enough credit it is kind of expensive compared to a lot of Chinese quads though it's like a hundred and fifty bucks but whoa. and the main downfall to the alias is the motors have a tendency of burning out really quick uh, maybe if you fly it every day it may burn out before three months and then when one motor burns out they all start to go and a set of motors is about 30 bucks that's my only gripe with it but you can run it into things crash it into things and no damage <laughs> 